So last week I was competing in Sofia, my first ATP tournament since 2018. Great stadium, great organization and this is the players lounge for the players at the hotel. But we are going to talk about a different one today, very different, the challenger at Eckenthal, the tournament during lockdown in Germany. My first tweet after arriving at the site was that this tournament is going to be the most difficult tournament of the year. And man, I was right. I want to make it clear from the beginning. Don't take this video as a complaint, as I truly believe that it is better to play in any way than not to play at all. If we wait for a perfect time with this whole situation, we might wait for years. And we will lose our fans and our sport. That's why we have to practice and play even during these hard times. Although I think this tournament was kinda on the edge, even for me. Partner of today's video is Miami Strings. To get a 10% discount, use my link below. Or simply add the promo code Ilya Marchenko at the checkout. Okay, intro is done, now we can talk. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's talk. <laughs> I will not introduce myself today because, you know, I'm famous now, more than 1000 subscribers. Not too bad. Not too bad. You cannot complain. You cannot complain. Let's start from the beginning. Traveling was kinda easy, I arrived by train from Hamburg to Nuremberg and the tournament ride was waiting for me outside of the station. Nice German car, almost new, with an automatic trunk. The only issue with it was, it was an Audi and I'm a completely BMW guy. Not epic. But if we put that fanboy aside, it was a very comfortable drive. So far, so good. Let's talk about the hotel. Hotel Silao is kinda creepy. It's in the middle of nowhere and at the check-in you get this huge and heavy key for your room, which is more than good in extreme situations for self-defense. I suppose I am a dangerous, aggressive stranger. But the room was actually not that bad. It's quite basic, but trust me, I've seen worse. Much worse. And I had only two main issues with it. First was the internet, so I couldn't do a proper workout for my arm, if you know what I mean. And the second was a terrible pillow. It had no shape at all. It looked like that. So in the morning my neck was a bit stiff. Okay. All in all, I cannot put this hotel to the advantages or disadvantages of Eckenthal Challenger. It's okay. It could be better. It could be worse. Much worse. Food, for example, was very decent. We had two options. Thai restaurant or the one from the hotel. In both, to be honest, the food was good. Good. Breakfast wasn't great, but again, I've seen better, I've seen worse. Much worse. The only thing that from Monday we couldn't eat sitting at those restaurants was to take the food to your room from them. And other delivery options were very limited. Only pizzas mostly and the minimum order was like 50 euros. That's kind of expensive. Because the hotel was in the middle of nowhere, remember? Thinking about it right now, looks like it was not that bad. Maybe I should change the title of this video. But let's talk first about the site. Here it is. You are seeing right now the fitness area, the locker room, the restaurant and the players lounge. Where is the restaurant? There is no restaurant. Let's go inside that locker room. Very nice view. Where is the shower? There is no shower. Wanna see the toilet? We need to go outside. Here it is. Players only. Be a beautiful. But you know what pisses me off the most? I've played this tournament. Behind one of the curtains on the court there is a door. This is a door. And behind that door there are locker rooms, toilets, showers and a pretty good gym upstairs. And they had an area with the food for players and VIPs last year. Ah, open this door, open this door! But all that is closed for us this year. It was not even a tournament decision, 
It was decided by some guy from the government due to all these COVID measurements. So after the practices and matches, guys were going to the physio or massage without a shower. It's probably safer this way. And it's probably safer to be cramped in in this small area than to have proper locker rooms, restrooms and everything else. You can imagine how many players were there during practices, as there were no other sites. Again, because of a lockdown. Only two courts and even those were used for the qualification matches. Practice possibilities were very limited. Four in court and only for 45 minutes. Not great, to say the least. And you can say the same about my performance at this tournament. I've lost to a guy who had a ranking of 1495. <laughs> Many things were not working properly during that match due to lack of practice on a carpet. First match on this surface this year. Last year I lost to Sachko in the same situation in Ismaning. My knee was still swollen after the tournament in Hamburg and the guy actually played well. He has won two matches in qualification on this surface and has beaten Bahinger in three sets. Matthias was killing me this year in Po, if you remember, with a set and break. And only by some miracle I was able to steal that match from him. I mean, look, I'm shocked myself. I don't know what to say. That... <laughs> and I played against a German player at a German tournament. All line empires and a chair empire were German. Not trying to say anything here, just an information. But that's not important. Guys on Instagram know better why I lost that match. Because I am a corrupt motherfucker and disgusting piece of shit. Says the guy named Melchor with a boar on his avatar. And he hopes I get killed. Well, Melchor, Gabor, one, two, three. If it's really you on that avatar, I have bad news for you. You have more chances to get killed than me during hunting season. The guy with nickname LipoBlueCall17 who sells multifunctional supplements, thinks that I lost because I am homosexual. Well, that's not true. And your mom had no complaints, you stupid homophobe. <laughs> Probably those supplements could affect his brain. So I would not recommend buying those. Another guy named Camille from Prague suggested that I should watch my back from now on. Not sure what he meant by that, but my Russian and Ukrainian speaking friends in Prague are looking for Camille to find that out. I'll keep you posted. Luigi Turquato says that I am a cancer of sport. And he vomited twice after that statement. Bro, you should see the doctor about that vomiting. It could be a stomach cancer. Who knows? And the last English speaking one for today, Lorenzo De Nicola says that I should try to become a YouTuber because I am over as a tennis player. Well, this man is actually 100% right. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. But that's supposed to be a secret. I hope he will not tell anyone. Because if he will, I'll let everybody know that his pee, -pee is extremely small. That's the worst penis I've ever seen in my life. How do I know? His girlfriend told me. Now we know the true reasons behind my loss and we can move forward. By the way, that guy has made the semis after beating Kamil Machak on the way. I guess Kamil found out many new things about himself as well. Hey, loser! Because people think if the guy is so low on the ranking, he is missing every second ball he plays. Which is not the case. Anyway, the best thing about my loss was that I was able to finally head back home after anti-doping testing and another COVID testing, of course. Yeah, we have all these testings, but no showers. Crazy times. Luckily, Martin Klijan had lost his match as well, so he was able to give me a lift to Bratislava in his nice car. It was not BMW again. And we stopped at the fancy restaurant on the way, which was on par with our prize money paycheck. What you eat when you lose first round. At least we have good car. Once again, I am not complaining or criticizing organizers of this event. I know in most cases it was not their fault. But what do you guys think? Should we still play in such conditions with no locker rooms, showers, proper practice facilities and very limited food options during lockdowns so we cannot eat or properly? Or they should just cancel those tournaments? 
let me know in the comments below. And about that giveaway, I'm going to announce the winners in my next video, so you still have a chance to participate. All details in my revisit video of Nike Cage 4. And remember, the funnier your comment is, the better your chances are. That's it for today, subscribe for more stories from the tour, thanks for watching and see you next time.